Nairobi, one of Africa's most developing cities. But there is a problem here, severe traffic congestion. Every hour we lose about 11 million shillings to traffic jams. That's about 100 billion shillings a year. Now there is an ambitious solution. A new transit system that cuts through the capital city. For over a year now, heavy machines and thousands of builders have been erecting East Africa's longest bridge. We shall move 30,000 vehicles from the ground level to the top level. Meaning, even you and I now can be left down there to drive as fast as we can because the traffic will have moved from ground level. 30,000 vehicles removed from the corridor goes upstairs, which means most likely the speed also down there becomes even a lot faster. So today we want to see how the expressway will function. We want to see how people will be joining and leaving the new road. Let's begin from Westlands. In order to achieve its purpose, the expressway will have 11 interchanges with 15 entry and 14 exit trams. They will ensure easier access. The on and off points will ensure seamless connections between the expressway and other key infrastructure like the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, Wilson Airport, the Standard Gauge Railway, the Central Railway Station, the bypasses and other city roads. For those joining the expressway from areas around Westlands, that will be your entry point. The ramp just before the Global Trade Center. That is how you will be accessing the expressway. Next to the Westlands interchange is Museum Hill intersection. It begins with an right. exit ramp right after the GTC. It connects the expressway with Professor Angari Madai Road, formerly Forest Road. It is what architects are calling Compound Diamond Interchange. The second ramp is the exit at the University of Nairobi grounds. For those joining in from Professor Angari Madai Road, the entry ramp near the National Museums of Kenya will be their way in. It will serve people coming in from the directions of Ngara, Parklands, Westlands and Thika Road. The expressway is a dual carriage highway with two lanes on each side. Managing a highway with lots of interchanges is not easy. The habit of Kenyans doing lots of lane changes, especially at the interchanges, must be managed. If not, it will cause congestion. It is where architectural magic comes in. For the expressway, architects designed short on and off lanes to ensure easy transitions for those joining or leaving the highway.
So right now we are headed to this Haile Selassie interchange. It's a unique one. It's what they're calling a variant diamond shape. So let's go and see how a variant diamond shape look like. This is Haile Selassie Interchange from under the bridge and it looks quite something like it. Well, if there is an interchange that is so magnificent, then Haile Selassie it is here. There are several entry and exit ramps. For example, where I am right now is the entry ramp for those joining in from the central business district, which is on my left hand side. It will also be used by anyone approaching from Haile Selassie roundabout to appreciate the type of intersection being constructed here, we turn on our drone camera. It is only from the air that its shape and size become clearer. Architects are calling it Variant Diamond. It has three ramps, two entries and one exit. Will be happening once a motorist joins the expressway. He or she will have to go through the toll station at the entry ramp. It is at this point that he or she will be checked into the billing system. When you come in, you are going to have a sticker on your car. All right. Um, a, some detects a system or another. So it detects you from a distance. It's more like um, a, what you see when you go to supermarkets these days. And, and, and you pay your money with a sticker they give you, all you need to do is put it in front of your windscreen and you, you don't have to insert it anyway, isn't it? Eh? Yes. So we'll have that kind of a tolling system whereby you're detected as you approach a tolling station, all right? And then, you know, the, the charge is initiated, all right? Because you see you're charged on the basis of the amount of time and the distance you travel on the expressway. So by the time you exit, as you approach, your charge is confirmed and it's wired to your bank, eh? And so, so you don't lose any time, you don't slow down, eh? you just drive off. Eh? But for those without such cards, here is what will be happening. Once your car reaches here, you press the green button for the ticket, which will exit from here. And once you pick your ticket, there is the light indicator. This is what will give you the green light to continue. So we'll learn, uh, so you get a ticket um, in and a ticket out. And the ticket out must be read so that you can be given your charge and then you pay manually, it's very slow. From the toll station, one can be able to join the progressive land coming from Westlands. On the opposite side of the interchange, there is another entry ramp, this one here. It will be used by those entering the expressway from Langata and Bunyala roads. And of course, headed for areas between the University of Nairobi and James Gishuru Junction or beyond. This interchange has one exit ramp. One thing to note is how entry and exit ramps have been located. 
In most cases, exit ramps have been placed before entry ramps. What it means is that by the time several vehicles join the highway, quite a number will have already exited the traffic. Well, as you've seen that tanker do, this is the exit ramp at the Haile Selassie interchange. It will be used by people going to South B and Upper Hill and also those going to Langata Road. Once you hit the exit ramp, it leads you here. It is at this toll station that the payment will be happening for a motorist to exit the expressway. Most of the interchanges constructed on the expressway will employ direct lens approach. They provide much faster access. The 27 kilometer road will have 11 interchanges between Molonongo and James Gishuru Junction. This is the Kenyan historian and my name is Anoxicoli.